We're live. Hi, it's Bill the Knee Pain Guru. Today we're going to talk about osteoarthritis, knee arthritis, and joint calcification strategy. I got a um, couple of emails from Rob. We've been going back and forth regarding the situation with his knee. And uh, Rob, uh, he said he was surprised to find some pain alleviation through the rotation exercise for the particular pain that usually intensifies by kneeling. Uh, Rob did the seven-day knee pain reduction challenge. So we got the rotation stretch everybody gets taking the seven-day knee pain reduction challenge to begin to understand what I'm talking about when we're creating comfort in the knee. So Rob started that. He says um, his right knee has been through the ringer, over 40 years of ligament, meniscus tears and surgeries, ACL repair and replaced, meniscus trimmed and removed, years of bone-on-bone -bone action are catching up to me at 57, would have a noticeably bigger knee joint and flexion reduction, meaning he's not able to kneel as easily. Um, he's fit, he does yoga, stretches, stretching for decades, can flex the knee to 90 degrees and maybe 20 degrees more, but then pays the price for it. Bicycling uh, seat height is always an issue on the leg, meaning he probably has to have it higher. And lately, efforts to stretch and regain range of, motion, range of motion in the knee are only worsening and prolonging daily pain. Telling you all this because you are offering an alternative approach to knee replacement surgery, which is looking increasingly unavoidable to me. Curious to your response, and I must say sincerely with healthy skepticism. Rob. So then... Uh, gave him a couple of YouTube videos to check out as far as increasing range of motion and knee replacement surgery stuff. And then Rob continues on about his concern is um, what he learned from the videos that I sent him. The arthritis definition of dehydration is eye-opening. So all diagnoses of arthritis is dehydrated joint. Keep that in mind. Your logic around addressing that is good. Isn't there further symptomatic concern with calcification of the joint or am I misunderstanding osteoarthritis? Uh, well, to some degree that there is a calcification of the joint because that's part of the dehydration that takes place. So when the body gets dehydrated, it has a hierarchy of water allocation. So the brain and the blood come first and second in terms of water allocation of the body. And what the body does is it goes to the bones and the synovial fluid in the joints and draws water out of those areas to make sure the brain and the blood are functioning properly. The problem with that is it draws calcium out of the bones in the process of drawing out the water to make sure the body doesn't die. So you can have a stroke, you can, the brain, you know, not functioning properly because it doesn't have enough liquid to keep it moving or water to keep it moving. I thought the bone on bone situation leads to calcium buildup. They're trying to restrict clearance and range of motion as a way of protection. This is my main concern over my range of motion that is increasingly being limited by calcium buildup and the increased size of the knee joint over the other is noticeable. Looks like a far older man's knobby knees and seems to have gotten worse with time, not inflammation. By the, ba by the way, it's been around 10 years since I had knee surgery. Back then, the knee surgeon told me my right knee was visibly arthritic and that the knee brace I wore on both legs, dirt biking, wasn't even necessary on the right because it was too big to move much anyways. Believe me, I'm not defending my limitations and wanting knee replacement. That's why we're talking, and I'm considering how much improvement in range of motion and pain relief is possible for me. Any thoughts on the above? Much appreciated. So we're looking at a strategy right now for knee osteoarthritis and arthritis of the knee. Dehydrated joint. Lack of range of motion. And Rob's main concern is calcification. But here's what I would propose to Rob and anyone else dealing with a similar situation. Your focus is in the wrong area. You don't come to me for calcification of the joint. You come to me for pain. 
which causes the joint to tense up tighter together, which causes lack of range of motion, which contributes to the calcification. We create comfort in the knee joint. The joint relaxes. You have an increased range of motion. Now the water that you're drinking is now able to get into the joint. Is now the body starts absorbing it more because you've increased the range of motion. And the body in a comfortable place, which is a parasympathetic state, can now heal faster, can now recover faster. And if we need to look at other things on the other side of the knee joint having increased range of motion, decreased pain, now if there's other things to look at in terms of the calcification piece, we can look at it at that time. But we got to start with first things first, which is decrease the pain, increase the range of motion. And you do that with comfort. Obviously, what Rob's been doing for 40 years hasn't been working. And I'm coming along with something completely different that just makes sense. All of it is based on universal principles. You can't argue with universal principles. Water flows downhill. Gravity works. You can't argue with that kind of stuff. So the body heals when it's comfortable. When we get the pressure off of the nerves, the body changes neurological states, which sets up the conditions so now the body is able to move easier. It's kind of a gimme. Anyhow, um, this makes sense. Give the video a thumbs up. Like and subscribe to my channel, thekneepainguru.com. Uh, or like and subscribe to my YouTube channel, The Knee Pain Guru. If you'd like to take the seven-day knee pain reduction challenge, head over to my website, thekneepainguru.com, and right there, fill in your first name and email address, and you'll get started in the same training that Rob did that he already experienced relief. So it's kind of one of those things, you know, already getting the results, and the worry comes on something else that's not even in front of us right now. Get more comfort in the knee. Work with the entire knee joint. Create comfort in the knee joint. Increase the range of motion. Get back to your life. Stop thinking about your knees and worrying about stuff that doesn't apply. Anyhow, this is Bill, the Knee Pain Guru. Share this video with your friends. Like and subscribe. Like the video. Subscribe to my channel. And head over and take the seven-day knee pain reduction challenge. Thank you so much. Bill, the knee pain guru, Bill Paravano, the knee pain guru, going to sign off for today. Have a great day, and I will see you on tomorrow's video.